Now, when there's a crash and it involves a semi truck, almost immediately people on social media really begin to vilify the truck driver, blaming that driver before the investigation has really even started. There is a popular Reddit post that's circulating written from the perspective of a truck driver about all the things he wishes car drivers knew when they they're driving near big rigs. So tonight we want to take a moment and give you a look at the roads from the perspective of a truck driver. You know, we're all out there and again, everybody has to do their part. It's all about finding common ground or common roadway since we do share it every day. Earlier, every time you see a guy out driving a truck or a woman, they're at work. They're professionals. That's how they make their living. You know, that's how they provide for their family. So it's in their best interest to not get tickets, to not get wrecks. Joe Lackey with the commercial vehicle driving program at FSCJ wishes drivers knew it could take a football field length or more to bring one of these 40 ton trucks to a stop. So the way they buzz around like little bees in front of these trucks, that's probably the most dangerous thing that they do. They don't realize the space and time needed to either start one or more importantly, stop one of these things. And the braking system is completely different than in cars. Trucks use air brakes and cars cutting in front of them can lead to serious problems. So if we deplete all of our air, we can just lock these tires up at any given time. And if that happens, we have no control of where and when the truck stops. So that space in front of a truck is not meant for a car to cut in. It's meant to help the truck stop and not deplete the brakes. So where is the safest place to drive around a truck? Well, definitely not the blind spot, not next to the driver's door, not directly in front of the truck in case it can't stop. Those three areas are sometimes called the no zones for those reasons. The safest spot is actually behind the truck, of course, leaving a safe distance. Honestly, when you see these big trucks, you have to realize that these drivers are at work. They're not just out driving. They are trained professionals that are going somewhere. Because maybe a little understanding could lead to some safer travels for us all. Katie Jeffries, First Coast News.